Mom, you know how much I love smoothies. Yes. But I make mine a certain way. How do you make yours? Well, I like my smoothies with lots of fruits and vegetables. I like the spread we have here. Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Kylie. And I'm Linda. Today we're making it count with frozen goodness. We're making smoothies. There are a few critical ingredients to consider for your next smoothie. They are protein, antioxidant rich produce, healthy fats, and of course, ice. Now, adding all these components together brings a well-rounded, delicious, healthy, flavorful smoothie. You can add healthy things to your smoothie like chia, hemp, or even ground flax seeds. They make your smoothie more filling and, of course, they up the healthy boost. That is very true. And several protein choices that you can try would be nut butter, flax seeds, chia seeds, you know, even Greek yogurt, cottage cheese is a really good one, mm -hmm. as well as our wonderful favorite, my favorite, silken tofu. Wow. Now we recommend you go for your solids. You know, the solids are really good at really packing in that protein for you before you add in your protein powder. So go for solids first. The next critical ingredient is antioxidant-rich produce. Fruits and vegetables, they provide important nutrients, yes. including fiber and antioxidants. So a good smoothie will have as many fruits mm. and vegetables as possible, and fresh is best. Yes, it is. Moving along to our healthy fats. I know when I say fats, people are like, Oh my goodness, right. did you just say fat? Yeah, but these are healthy fats and we need healthy fats, such as chia seeds, flax seeds, things like that. Avocado is a wonderful, good healthy fat, as well as low dairy choices. The last component to making a great healthy smoothie is surprisingly ice. It adds volume to your smoothie and you're getting more smoothie, but not more calories. That is very true. Using ingredients like molasses, coconut sugar, honey, and dates. Oh, we love those dates. As well as fruits, bananas, berries, just healthier ways to really sweeten your smoothie. Well, let's get started. First up, we have our strawberry chia watermelon smoothie. In a blender, we'll mix our watermelon, our strawberries, banana, unsweetened plain almond milk, lime juice, and chia seeds. And we'll mix that until smooth and creamy. Yes, yes. And then next up, we have our blueberry smoothie. Oh man, we love our blueberries. In a blender, we're gonna add our blueberries, bananas, unsweetened almond milk, maybe coconut milk if you like. Don't forget the Greek yogurt, and we're gonna mix it till smooth. <laughs> And last up, we have our green smoothie, Supremo. <laughs> so, in a blender, we're gonna add our bananas, baby spinach, one of my favorites, mango, sliced apples, sliced cucumbers, and then we're gonna add our ground flax. If necessary, you might need to go ahead and add just a little bit water. We ended up adding a cup of water just to make it a little bit more smoother, but it's up to you. You still want to be able to get it through your straw. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. There you have it. Healthy, delicious, overload. Healthy choices for you and your family. Yes. Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for more smooth smoothie recipes. And when you try this at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Biscuits, not biscuits. <laughs> biscuits, because I forgot. Mama, um, why are you just staring at me like that? I was listening to you give me good information. That's, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, you made me nervous. We definitely want to keep that beating. Yeah, our beating heart is pretty important. <laughs> our mango, our sliced con, 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 con,